Hey everyone, this is Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today I'm going to be uninstalling an old light fixture and reinstalling a new semi-flush mount one. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have my power shut off. Um, and I've already flipped the breaker, um, so I know I don't have any power going to it. So then I'm just going to go ahead and remove my old light, light fixture. Okay, so now that we got the old mounting plate removed, we can just go ahead and reinstall the new one. Um, here's the mounting plate here. It's got a lot of different holes here you could screw into your junction box with. Um, so I'm just going to install it. Now, I like to split the wires right now if I can. Um, that just makes it easier when I go to wire things up later. All right. And again, this is, you could go any, any spot here, but this is just works. This is the ones that work best for me. So the other thing I like to do at this point is I want to take my um, I want to take my ground wire and I'm just going to wrap it around my ground screw and go ahead and screw that in. Um, that way it's already secured on there. And when I go to secure the other ground wire later, I don't have to worry about trying to get both of them. So now that we have our new mounting plate on, we can go ahead and start putting the light fixture together. Okay, so the easiest way I've found actually to feed your wires up through the uh, threaded tube here is just to twist them together like so. And then feed them through. Might have to twist it a little bit, but they should go. Once the sleeve and cover are on, we can take our black lock washer and our hex nut and tighten everything down in place. If you found this video helpful so far, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you get alerted as soon as the newest videos come out. Now that we've put together most of the light, we can go ahead and wire it up and secure it to the mounting bracket. So a quick trick you can do to avoid having to hold the light up is to secure the fixture ground wire to the ground screw on the mounting bracket. This way the bracket is actually what's holding the weight of the light. Now of course before completely letting go of the light, um, you want to verify that the screw is tight and will hold the weight. So now that I don't have my hold my light here, I'm going to go ahead and get my wires set up here. Just going to strip them back. Okay. 
And you can do this beforehand if you want to. It's not doesn't really matter. Okay, now I'm gonna take my new take off my old existing wire nuts. Let me use the new ones. Now again these are just it's just white to white here. And you want to wrap it around like that. And take your wire nut, just screw it on like that. Now as an extra safety precaution, I like to take my electrical tape here. I take my black electrical tape and just wrap it around. Again, just for a little extra protection, just in case that wire nut slips. For some reason, I've got electrical tape. This doesn't have to look good. And I'm gonna do the same with the black side here. Take my old wire nut off, twist that, make sure it's straight. Then I'm just gonna wrap this around here. I'll take my wire nut, twist it on like so. Now I'll take a piece of my electrical tape here. Now I can go ahead and push the wires back up in the junction box and go ahead and secure the light to the mounting bracket. Now we can go ahead and screw in the threaded pipe and go ahead and put our light bulbs in. Next we're going to take one of the nylon washers and one of the metal washers and put them over the hole inside the globe. The nylon washer will sit directly on the globe and then the metal washer will sit on top of the nylon washer. Once the globe is then in place, we can take the other nylon and metal washer and put them on the threaded pipe. With the nylon washer, of course, being closest to the globe and the metal washer directly below it. Then we can screw the hex nut onto the threaded pipe to hold the globe up. Then we can go ahead and put our decorative cap and decorative nut on. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you get alerted as soon as the newest videos come out.